Hey guys, I'm the Lock Picking Patrolman, and the lock that I've got today is a challenge lock that was sent to me by Mr. Steel Pennings and pinned up by my buddy Squint, uh, his number two lock entitled I Pity the Fool. Um, I've seen this lock on a couple other channels, and I've picked it a couple times off camera. It picks really great. Uh, key works really smooth going clockwise. Uh, counter anti-clockwise you kind of got to jiggle the key in it a little bit um, but otherwise works great and um, anyway let me get this clamped up in the vise and we'll go to picking at it be back in a minute all right guys we got it clamped up in the vise uh, here's the key again you can see it same key still locked up key still works with the slight bit of a hang up going counter clockwise on occasion and we're still locked up all right let's get a little wiper insert down here in the bottom and top of the keyway tension I'm gonna pick it um, even though it's got that slight hang up I'm gonna pick it counter or anti-clockwise um, just because it seems to be a little bit easier uh, Let's see, getting a little, little click off of one, counter rotation off of two. Might have to come back to him. Three, four, all right, five. I kind of lift it up on him. Give me a turn on the core. Four, same thing. Okay, four gave me some counter rotation. I think I got him set. Okay, let's see here. Three, kind of fighting with me. Let's see if I dropped anything. Yeah, back here in the back. I think I dropped five. Let's see, that's one. Yeah, I'm counting five cuts on the key. If memory serves, which most of the time it doesn't for me, um, I believe this is just five pins, so I'm just sort of working my way through the pin stack. I'll tell you guys, since I've gotten this vise, uh, one of the cool things is being able to easily pick uh, locks counterclockwise, um, anti-clockwise. I think I just got three set. Uh, I think we're just hung up on one, maybe, yeah, I think just one pin. But picking locks, uh, the opposite direction, trying to hold it in hand, uh, tensioning it, yeah, that just doesn't work all the time. So that's one thing I'm really, really pleased about having a vice, finally. All right. Let's see. Okay. That was two or three, I think. I just got a little counter rotation movement. Okay, that was two, definitely. Let's go back here. Okay, four, I got to click off of, I believe. back there in the back it okay and there we go pin one I touched it got it open sweet I'll take that all right get you guys angled around here so you can see And even though I've got a key for it that works, I don't want to don't want to lock it back up unless I have to. Which with this little actuator on the back, I don't think I will. Um, I really, really do like these that you can remove with just a couple of screws. 
Those little C clips get really, really annoying. Um, and because it's a challenge lock, I'm going to run a shim in it. Let's see, that looks pretty tight though. Um, should be able to get a shim in there, maybe. Hopefully. Yeah, I don't know, guys. I don't think I'm going to be able to get my shim in there, and it's pretty thin. Um, let's see. And the hollow followers not big enough there. Hmm. <laughs> let's see. Let me go ahead and try with my solid follower, and let's cross our fingers. And I gotta hang up in there. All right, guys. Let's see. All right. Got this pin in the back here, pin five. Very small little T pin. Let me see if I can rotate the core just enough. I'll grab this guy out of there. Also, trying not to dump out all the key pins while I'm holding this thing. And sometimes the easier the lock is to take apart, the hard, or the easier the lock is to pick then the harder it is to take apart. All right, let's see if we can finish this without any more. All right, um, hung up on, feels like another T-pin, maybe. Yeah, but we're lucky. It's right up here in the front. So let me grab that guy out of here. Probably what I'll do is remove all the uh, drivers, go ahead and get them out. My light's doing that weird thing again. Um, all right, let's see here. I'll come back and grab the springs in a second. All right, two. I'll give you guys a close-up of all these pins. There's some really nice homemade pins that Squint made. They're really cool, gave a lot of good feedback, but not too much to give away all its secrets. Alrighty, we're out of there. Grab a hook. Spring out of one. Okay, spring out of two. Come back to three. He's been a little shy. If there's one in there, I didn't really feel one in there, but I'm pretty sure there is. All right. Four is another copper. So it's five. A little bit longer. And there's the one, four, three. All right. Let's see, did he put any tricks up in the Bible? Let's have a look. I don't see anything up there. Don't see where he's taking that uh, top cap off. So I think we're pretty well stock up there. Let's empty out these key pins. Okay, one, beautiful. Two is beautiful, so it's three, four, and five. I'll get these guys arranged real quick, and then we'll take a look at the plug. And I'll show you guys a close-up. I don't want to run it too long in the video. All right, in the plug, 
Let's see, we have some counter milling in one and three, and two, four, and five all look to be normal. All right, guys, there it is. I uh, pity the fool. You can see those great uh, homemade pins by Squint. Uh, in chamber one, we've got this uh, really, really nice uh, double deep serration key pin with a T-pin driver. Uh, chamber two, we have a spooled key pin, a very short spooled key pin, and like an upside down Christmas tree serrated on the top. Uh, pin three, we've got a another nice uh, deeply serrated spoolish type key pin. There's a little tiny serration right here just above uh, this thicker part. Uh, very nicely done. Four is a another uh, serrated. There's a very fine serration in the middle right there. I think you can see it on camera. And then five is a uh, standard and oh these up here. Uh, three the driver is a very deep spool. Uh, four is a serrated with those very deep serrations and five is a t-pin so steel pinnings thank you for sending this lock to me squint uh great job making these pins um really really fun pick and guys uh some final words of wisdom from that great chinese philosopher's second cousin on his mother's side ah locksmith who gets robbed in the street was pick pocketed. All right, guys, have a great night.